Hi everybody. So today in the eel pit I have a very exciting update. I actually got two new fish. Uh, I actually got them a few weeks ago before the big winter storm. It is an alligator gar and a long nose gar. So a customer of mine, Fluffies and Scalies on Instagram, I'll tag him in the description, reached out asking if I would rehome these big fish for him. So yeah, I got the two gars, what I'm keeping, and then I took the big red tail catfish and Placostomus into my store. Here's that red tail. He's actually got one eye. His name's Nick Fury. So he's pretty cool. It was actually born with one eye because it's totally, his pattern goes where his eye should. And he is living in this tub at Discover Aquatics now. But yeah, here is the alligator gar. His name is Gar Brooks. And I wanted to get a big alligator gar into the pit before we really got into winter. Uh, just to make sure garlic and Garfield would be safe when they went in. And then long-nose gar are another awesome gar species. Uh, they can get up to four foot. I'm sure I'll be catching some wild ones later this year to add to the pit. There was gar brooks coming up for air in the tub. But yeah, they had to go from 75 to pretty low 60s. And then it pretty much the next day got all the way down to negative seven outside. So I really did want to get an alligator gar in here before it really got cold. Just to ensure my other future alligator gar would be safe over the winter. And they did great. Uh, they kind of went right into hibernation mode. Here is Gar Brooks going in. But yeah, he's a big fish. The Actually, the biggest spotted Gar, Jason, is uh, actually longer. But then this alligator Gar is just so much bulkier. But you can see how lethargic they are going into here. Just this cold water. But uh, this was filmed about two, three weeks ago. And they're doing totally fine now. Still in hibernation mode. Not much going on. And then, uh, but yeah, I really wanted to make sure Garfield here would be safe going in there. I was thinking it'd be next spring so I could actually have another alligator gar in there. But now that I got one in this winter, uh, I think they should be good to go in. Garlic will probably go in maybe this fall, depending on how quick he grows. But he is getting big quick. Uh, you can see he's probably pushing 16 inches now or pretty close to it. But yeah, he is definitely bulking up quick. Unlike the gar, the eels feed all the way through the winter. Here's tequila living under Sriracha's bucket. And then here are some of the other eels. That was Ely Dan swimming off there. And then on the left here, we have Mentally Eel. And of course, that big one is Crunchwrap. Crunchwrap Supreme. But yeah, they usually hang out in the back corner. And Crunchwrap's usually the only one that really chases me down when I'm feeding. And here is Melanie. A little bit yellower than some of the other eels. But yeah, tears the food right out of my hand. Super cute eel. And here are all the gar together. So this one here, this is the smallest and prettiest of the spotted gar. This is Garados. And that is Garchomp on the left, Jason in the back. And then that is Gar Brooks on the left. And the long nose, I don't believe, has a name yet. But yeah, they are all doing well hibernation mode, so... Not much going on. I can't wait for warm weather when I can start getting them eating out of my hand and stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And here's that big one-eyed red tail Nick Fury at my shop tub. He comes and attacks hands when he sees them.